evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today, I'm sorry that I've been so hit or miss lately. I'm going to try and make sure I get back on my every evening doing something. But I wanted to share real quick because I know there's a lot of, you know, focus on Israel. And I'm not trying to stir the pot, but I do want us to, to have some insight and, and understanding into um, not to be so focused on the physical place of Israel. I mean, clearly there is um, a, a, a specific calling on Israel, but I don't think that what's going on over there has so much to do with end times prophecy. And I'm just going to point out this one thing, and you can take it with a grain of salt and call me crazy. That's fine. I really don't know, honestly. I don't know if any of us really know. No man knows the day or the hour or anything. But we, we shouldn't be ignorant of the, the signs of the times. But I'm wondering if Israel is like a huge sign of the times. And I'm going to explain that. Revelation 11.8 says, And their dead bodies... Okay, first of all, not to talk out of context... But this is talking about the two prophets that come back and they're like breathing fire out of their mouth and everything in the book of Revelation. And the beast kills them. And then um, after three and a half days, they, you know, God calls them back up to heaven. Anyways, in verse 8, it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Oh, wow. You know what? It's talking about Jerusalem. But clearly, um, if the two prophets go to Jerusalem, then Israel has something to do with the end times. So, forget whatever I just said. <laughs> but I wanted to show, <clears throat> I just wanted to show that what's spoken about the actual physical Jerusalem is not a good thing. It says, this is the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Okay, so Jerusalem in this world where Jesus was crucified is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Okay, so that should open our mind to every prophecy in Isaiah and uh, Ezekiel and, and all the prophets, when, when God is speaking about Sodom and Egypt, he's talking about the physical Jerusalem. And even Jesus said, <laughs> how could any prophet possibly be killed anywhere but Jerusalem? So, so clearly these two witnesses are going and they're witnessing to the Israelites, wow, in Jerusalem, you know what, this makes so much sense to me now, because I always thought that the Antichrist would rise out of Israel, and it, it seems like the beast shall make war against them and overcome them and kill them. Now, it doesn't mean that the beast will be seated in Jerusalem, but maybe the Antichrist kingdom will be seated in Jerusalem, which makes sense. Um, because I, I've been thinking that the, the deception that will come on the whole world will be, you know, a lot of it will be that they're anticipating a Messiah. And they'll believe that this person is the Messiah. He might even be an Israelite from the tribe of Dan. That's a big possibility. That's why Dan is possibly not included in the in the tribes um anyways so which doesn't mean that every person from the tribe of dan is cut off but it could be a sign for us to discern and the prophecy um back all the way in jacob when he talks about his sons it says dan is a serpent in the way um you can look into that yourself but so i'm just not gonna re-record because i'm gonna just be open and honest and i was thinking that we shouldn't have our attention on Israel um, or get too distracted by what happens in Israel. But um, something is going to be in Israel. 
because the two prophets that are killed are in Jerusalem. So, so Israel will be a focal point and a sign for us for the end times. But I don't know how that's going to look. I don't think it's going to look the way that we think it's going to look. I think that the church thinks that Israel is going to be like reestablished as a godly nation and God is going to like uh, reveal him, uh, his son to them and they're going to have some great revival in Israel and then whatever. But like look right here. These two prophets are killed and lying in the streets of Jerusalem. And the whole, everyone around there is rejoicing because of their death. And they even give presents to each other. So that tells us that Jerusalem, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, is, is not a good place. Um, it's not a good place. The Jerusalem that we look to is above, which is the mother of us all, which is what Paul says. And the Israel is the Israel of God, whoever believes in Jesus, you know, whoever um, has come into covenant with him through his son, we are Israel. There's only one body, <laughs> okay? There's only one body of believers, and we've been grafted in to Israel, and we are the Israel of God, according to Galatians, and so, and really, honestly, all teaching, um, and, and I don't have time to go into all that, but I just wanted to say that and point out that the Jerusalem physical here is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Think about that. Amen.